Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to switch from a gallery view to calendar view in Power Apps. And this will be helpful for the employees to keep track of their tasks based on the due dates. Now let me introduce myself. I am Harita working as a Power Platform Consultant. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials on Power Apps. And before we get into the implementation, let's take a quick demo of what we will be creating. As you can see here, in the gallery view, we displayed all the task details. And when I click on this uh, switch to calendar view button, and it takes us to the another screen where we have a calendar and this is the calendar view screen and here you can see each task is displayed on its due date making it easy to see what's coming up next and here also i have previous and next button so when i click on this next button it will display the ne next month calendar with the task details and here you can see on its due dates uh, the task titles are present and the task also in the different colors so based on the status value of the task we are differentiating that task and here also we have that switch to gallery view button so when we click on this button it again navigates to the previous screen now that you have a glimpse of what we will be building today let's get started with the implementation here i have a sharepoint list named task tracker which is storing all the task details this list is having the columns like task title assign task assigned to start date and its due date and its priority task description category and status etc now in the power Power Apps application connect that SharePoint list from this uh, data section. In the onStart property of the app object, provide this code and uh, you no need to worry about the code. In the description box below, I have provided a link where you can get all these uh, codes. And here you can see I have created one variable named where current date and it is containing the current month's first date by using this date function. And this date function is taking the parameters like year and month. And here you can see the year the year function is fetching the year from the current date. And this today function will provide the current date. So it is returning 2024 and this month function is fetching the month from the current date and this one will take uh, the date as a one. So this date function is um, fetching the current month's first date that is storing in this uh, variable. Now we will see how to create a calendar in the Power Apps. So here you can see we have this calendar and when we observe a calendar is containing 6 rows with the 7 columns. So totally uh, this calendar is containing 42 cells and uh, in the above it is showing the term the weekday names. So we will also creating the calendar like this only so to create a calendar we need to use the gallery control so add one blank gallery from insert tab and within this gallery add one text label provide the wrap count property value as 7 for this gallery now add this code in the items property of the gallery control and here you can see i am using the sequence function to get the 42 cells so when i click on this sequence function you can see i am getting values from 1 to 42 and this value is taking that uh, each value like 1 2 3 4 5 up to 42 and here we are doing the calculation like um, for, for each value we are adding the current date and we are subtracting that date from the weekday of the current date and here the power apps weekday function will return the weekday of the provided data for example weekday means in the calendar you can see if i am providing this date it will return a weekday as a 3 that is because um, it will consider sunday as 1 and monday as 2 and tuesday as 3 and so on so on up to 7 let me show you one example now here i have taken one text label and i have provided that weekday of today function as you can see it is returning value as a 2 so in the calendar if we see today is 28th and which is a monday so it is returning 2 in case if it is uh, 29 it will return 3 but to understand this calculation let me show you an example here you can see i have created one table for understanding purpose and uh, here the value is containing 1 to 5 i will explain only with the five numbers so the remaining calculations are also same for the uh, remaining 42 numbers and here this is the value and the formula is um, the value plus the current date minus weekday of the current date right so we are subtracting this um, 
current value 1 from the weekday of the current month first date. So, 1 minus 3 it will take minus 2. So, we are subtracting 2 days from the 1st of the October. So, it will be 29th September. So, that's why in the calendar you can see it is showing 29th which is a date and 9th September. So, again uh, now the value is increased to 2. So, 2 minus the current um, month's first date weekday is 3. So, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So, we need to subtract 1 day from the current month's first date. And for the third value, uh, we are subtracting 3 minus 3, so 0, which is the October 1st. Like for the next value, 4, so 4 minus 3, 1, uh, which is a positive value. So, we need to add 1 day for the uh, first day of the current month. So, it will be 2nd October and uh, it, the calculation will be go on like this. So the date also increasing uh, 2nd October, 3rd October. Like that it will going. Provide this code on the template size property of the gallery control. So, we can fix the uh, fixed size for the template size. And then to fetch uh, only the day from the uh, date. Instead of displaying all the date. Use the day function in the text property of the text label within the gallery. Here you can see. Uh, now we are fetching all the dates. Let's fix these things. Like the height, size, all the things for this date. Here I have written another code for the color property of this text label to differentiate the dates uh, present with uh, like within the current month and the next month dates. Like you, you can also see in the calendar like um, the dates which are belonging to the previous months and the next months are in the disabled mode. Like the color, the color you can observe it is in the light color and which are in the current month that dates only highlighting right. So to achieve this one, I have provided this code. If the so if these two dates are not equal, that time the dates will be displayed in the gray color. If the months are matching means that time. The dates will be displayed in this black color. Up to now you have understand right. Now to display the weekdays over the calendar. We will add another calendar. So here I added uh, one gallery. With a text label within the gallery. Now here also for the gallery provide the wrap count as. Here for the gallery. For this gallery also. Provide the wrap count value as a 7 in the property Spain and then for its items property to fetch the weekdays provide this code calendar dot weekday short so it will fetch the so it will display weekday names in a short form we can also use the long one so by using this function we can get um, weekday long names so provide some background color for the text label like i have provided here here you can see for this one i took this color in the fill property now we will see how to display the current month's name uh, like for the title provide this uh, text function in the text property of the text label and uh, this will fetch the month name uh, dynamically like in the form of uh, month and year so next we will see uh, how how to get uh, next month uh, next month dates and previous month dates like in the calendar when we click on this uh, up arrow and down arrow we are getting next month dates and previous months date rights so we will see now how to achieve this one now here i have added three button controls for the previous next and today's one so here you can see on the uh, today's button on select property i have used the same formula that i have used in the on start property this variable is containing the like the first day of the current month and in the previous button on select property you can see here instead of the today i am taking that where current date which we are creating in the today's buttons on select property and um, for the month we are giving minus one so it will subtract one month from the current month and uh, here when we see the next buttons on select properties formula here we are giving plus one for the month so it will increase uh, one month let me preview it once today which is the current month 
when i click on this previous month you can also see month name is changing so september and it is subtracting one month so when i click on this next it is um it is increasing the month november december and you here can see the year also changing and the month name is changing dynamically like uh, exactly like in the calendar now we will see how to display the uh, task on the uh, on its due dates within this calendar so for that one add a gallery within this um, calendar gallery so for that one click on this edit icon and from the insert tab which for the gallery and insert this gallery into this uh, main gallery now add one text label within this um, inner gallery also so this gallery we will name it as a gallery task tracker provide this filter condition on the inner task tracker gallery here i am using um, when this item dot value is equal to the due date in the task tracker that time it will display the task in this gallery so to display the task name add one text label and uh, provide this um, this item dot title in its text property and adjust its size for displaying the task name. And here you can see now the task name is displayed by size and due data. Now to differentiate the task uh, like based on its status value, we will add one more condition for its uh, fill property of this label. Here you can see if this item dot status value is not started, then it will display this. Uh, this color and if, if it is in in progress it will display this uh, violet color and for if it is completed then it will display this um, green color uh, so it will be helpful for the employees to track the status of the task also with the due dates now we will see how to switch between the gallery view to calendar view here I have already created a gallery to display the task details. Add that button control to switch to the uh, calendar view. So in the buttons on select property, provide this code. So whenever we click on this, by defaultly, it will take the uh, it will display the calendar with the current month's date. And then this navigate function is used for navigating to that calendar view preview it once when i click on this one here you can see now we are in this uh, calendar view screen so here also we will add one more button to go back to that uh, gallery view screen here i added one button control and it's on select property i have given this um, i have used this navigate function to navigate back to the gallery view now save the changes let me preview it once when i click on this gallery view it is going back to this gallery view screen and when i click on here it is coming back to the calendar view screen i hope you understand how to switch from gallery view to calendar view in power apps and thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel